Okay, so let's get this air unit and canopy installed on my Femta here. Now, a couple things you need for this to install will be the canopy itself, the hardware and grommets, including the actual camera mount, and a 04 air unit that I have right here. Now, I've done a full review on this 04 air unit, talking about what's so special and what makes this hair so unique. I'll leave that video linked above and below so you can take a look at it. But this thing here is super light. We have a 4K camera that weighs only 8.2 grams. Okay, so let's start with the VTX. Now, to make this whole thing work, the details really matter. And what I mean by that is that having the right orientation is gonna make or break this whole installation. We're talking about orientation for the VTX, the camera, and even the mount. So I'll mention those when I get to it. So we're just gonna take off this plate right here. Pretty cool. And then you have your four holes here for the VTX. Next, we have these O-rings right here, and you wanna put these in each one of these pillars right here, just like this. Perfect. And we'll do the same for the remaining three holes right here. Now, this is one area where orientation really matters, and you do wanna have this bind button facing the left side eventually. So you want to have, if you're looking at it from this way, before you put it in here, you want to have the antenna facing up. Pretty straightforward. It slides in there pretty well. You can see your MIPI cable right here. Be careful with that. We're just going to put this on the inside here near the camera mount. Now, one thing that's crucial here, as you can see, well, you really can't notice it right now, is that I have the standard DJI antenna on here. Now, Beta FB does provide a shorter antenna, which they usually provide with their frame kit to facilitate or is specific to their drones. But because I am testing this O4 air unit, I'm gonna keep my standard antenna for now, do my observations, and then switch over to the smaller one. I think this one here is more durable, and this one here is more susceptible to damage. But in my case, or your case, I do suspect that you might wanna change that. And it's as simple as just putting this plate on top here. It's like a sandwich and just squeezes it. And there's a spot here for the antenna as well. Now, finally, you wanna put your four self-tapping screws right here. We have them right here. We'll put them in each hole and then secure it with the Phillips screwdriver. All right, and we'll do the same for the remaining three. This is pretty done. Let's move on over to the camera. This one here is a little bit more complex. You have two parts here, all right, guys? You have a part here specifically for the camera, and you have another part here that mounts to the actual canopy. And as you can see in this small bag here, we also have these small little, I won't say O-rings, they're like gummies. There's two holes, one on each side. And the whole point here is to put them in the legs of both of these mounts. This is gonna be connected to the front and the back. These two mounts are gonna be joined together, but suspended by these gummies. So pretty interesting design overall. Now, one thing to know that this is the back, the part here with the screw, it's kind of hard to see. This part here with the brass uh, pressing nut, this part here goes rearward. Now, another orientation thing here is that you have these two circular half moon cutouts in this little camera mount here. That is the top and bottom. You can also mount it sideways, but it should be top and bottom, like a vertical orientation. So I'm just gonna press my camera through this and it should click and clip. There it is, click. That's the first half. Now I have the gummies already installed on the back portion of this mount here. And we are just going to install it through the legs here. It's gonna be hard to see here on camera, but there's the first one, the second one. There it is. Boom. All right. All four points are there. And all I have to do is just put this in the canopy and we should be good. And that should provide additional damping. All right, I got one in. Let's go to this side, try to get the other one in. All right. The question is, do I have the orientation right is the real question. Usually with these DJI cameras, you can just flip the orientation in post. And that's it, this canopy here is done and ready to go. Now you have to prep the actual frame using the gummies here provided. And we'll just get four out of here and put those gummies in the four holes. Cool, I got one in there. <laughs> we got two in. All right. 
three. All right. All right, we have all the grommets in the frame. Okay, now that we have the grommets in the frame, let's install the canopy to the frame. It's as easy as that. First thing we're gonna do is plug the harness from the flight control into the O4 air unit. It only goes in the one way anyway, so. Yeah. All right. So there's a couple ways to do this. I'm gonna line up some bolts in here. They all lined up pretty well. Now I'm gonna torque them down. <laughs> and there it is. Access to the bind button. USB-C right there. And then the actual canopies on gummies. And then your camera is also on gummy, so there you go. As I said before, this thing has a lot of similarities to the actual Tiny Go. You can see it almost identical in size. All right guys, so that's it right here. If you enjoyed that video or got any help from it, hit that like button. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see the full review on the Pavo Femto. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.